The Commodore 64, now in a home family pack. A family pack containing the world's number one selling home computer. Produced by Commodore, under license from Bally Midway, Kickman is an arcade-style game featuring everybody's favourite thing to fear, clowns. But to nullify our childhood horror, there is, of course, Midway's Pac-Man, as a special guest. So without further ado, let us delve deep into this strangely addictive early arcade conversion. Since it's an early title, 1982 in fact, the graphics were fairly simple, yet look very faithful to its arcade counterpart. A simple, one-point perspective of a road in a city, with the skyline making up the background. The one big change was that you didn't play with a trackball, like you did in the arcades, and rely on your joystick to manoeuvre your creepy little clown. So here we have several rows of different coloured balloons floating around the top of the screen, and you have to control this unicycling clown, manoeuvring him into position under each one that falls. In the first round, any balloons that hit your pointy hat pop automatically, but on later levels, these merely pile up, making the whole exercise of catching consequent balloons a little trickier. The controls themselves are very responsive, outside of the planned delays. You press left. Kickman cycles left without hesitation, unless you are stretching your legs or a Pac-Man is eating what is atop your head. Press right. Kickman goes right. Use the kick button. Kickman, well, kicks in both directions. Exactly the same controls as, say, Space Invaders. Originally, the game was called just Kick, and the man part was probably added in order to create an association with Pac-Man. And thus, your saving grace is that any balloons that miss your hat and fall near the ground can be kicked skyward, giving you another chance. So I guess this could be considered as to why the game got its name, I suppose. Yep, the clown can boot the balloons back into the air by using his massive clown shoes and super akimbo legs. Happy days! One of the features on later screens was the introduction of Pac-Man, who will drop down just like the balloons, but he is sort of a smart bomb for all of the balloons on your head, as he'll munch right through them. Handy! if the balloons are piling up. Now, I know all of the balloons clearly defy gravity, but this is a game from 1982, and I must admit, I was into it at the time. Having this on one of my earliest cartridges for the system, I really wish every game came out on cartridge back in the day. Mind you, we might have missed out on some epic loading screens, had that been the case. But this clown though, who remembers the 80s band Devo? Well, they're cold, and I think they want their outfits back. I had to laugh when the clown actually kicks the balloons too. The whole unicycle stretches, and it looks a little comical when the legs stretch right out as they do. Also, the damn thing is a clown. Did I mention, I don't like clowns too much. Hey, did you hear what I said? I guess I would categorise this game as a combination of a Tetris-like strategy with arcanoid speed and addictiveness, although a blanket statement of arcade would probably suit it better. You will notice that some balloons fall faster than others. The green ones fall the fastest and are worth more points, and overall the gameplay is challenging and fun. The addition of Pac-Man eating the balloons also added to the gameplay. I thought the box art was really scary. It's even scarier if you have the game's music stuck in your head while you look at it. Mind you, I had a similar issue with Fiendish Freddy too. I'm definitely blaming Ronald McDonald for all this. That dude scared me half to death as a kid. It's a real shame, really, that the game seems to be completely forgotten about when people talk about Commodore 64 games, because it is pretty fun to play. Get it fired up on your Commodore 64 and give it a whirl. Thanks for watching guys, what did you think of Kickman? Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and let us know in the comments section. Hopefully you enjoyed the nostalgic memories 
And if so, maybe consider subscribing to the channel, where we take a walk down memory lane and revisit the games you'd play back when you was a kid. Check out the playlists for more Commodore 64 and even Commodore Amiga games. And hopefully, I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, bye for now. A massive thank you to the following Patreons. Your continued support goes a long way to ensure we continue on this epic journey down memory lane. And also those who have joined the YouTube membership. Stay retro.